Okay, I'm going to show you how to create modal pop-ups with Thrive lead boxes uh, using the ManyChat button so that you can uh, pop up a modal window and capture a user's name, email, and possible phone number, other information like that, and then get them into a more classic autoresponder series. And you'll also be able to track these clicks using your Facebook pixel code. Uh, and all that is done through the ManyChat button booster that we have built for you right here. So basically, what does this do? Let me show you an example of how this works. So here we've got a ManyChat button. We've got a free cheat sheet that we're going to send somebody. Uh, I'm going to send it through the bot, but I also want to collect their email. So if I click the button, it sends it to the bot. You can see that it does. And then it pops up this little modal window. So that is what the mini chat button booster will allow you to do. So let's set this up with the Thrive Lightbox. So what you need to do, um, and again, this is not a Thrive tutorial. You need to know how to set you up, uh, set up light boxes and, and that sort of thing and all your opt-ins using Thrive. So uh, go to the Thrive site and go through your tutorials there. So what we have to do is uh, create a lead group and you'll want to create a light box. You want to make sure it displays on desktop and mobile. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go over to your settings, <coughs> excuse me, and you want to, if it will load, come on, there we go. So you want to come over here to the pages. You want to make sure it's going to show up on the page that you want. And then you want to come over here and edit this light box. So you want to edit the light box and you want to go in and you want to edit the trigger. So the trigger here is display on click. Normally it uh, displays immediately when the page loads. That's the default. You want to come down here and say show when the user clicks on an element. And what you want to do is add a CSS ID or class. And again, if you have any questions about that, check out your Thrive Leads uh, tutorials and all your documentation. In this case, I've created the class as opt-in trigger. Now when you edit it that, or add this in uh, the Thrive Leads, uh, CSS class names uh, usually have a period in front of them, so like a dot opt-in trigger. In Thrive here, you would not use the period, but I'm going to copy that, okay? I'm going to go over here to um, my mini chat button booster and I'm going to add in, make sure you add in that period, okay? That adds the class, okay? Now, uh, what else we can do is we can come over here and set up the um, pixel code. And so I can tell it to track a click as a lead, or uh, I can tell it to track as a custom event. We've got links here for all of your various um, uh, instructions on how to run Facebook pixels. I would, uh, if you don't know anything about Facebook pixels, I would definitely look into it because it makes retargeting inexpensive and it makes tracking all of your clicks and your traffic through your Facebook ads and your other campaigns very, very easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut off the custom event, just track it as a lead. So you uh, create your opt-in trigger. We're going to track the Facebook click and we're going to just generate the code. Uh, what you'll see here is all the code that you need. You come over here, you click copy and then you come over to your page. I'm using the Divi theme and um, as you can see here, I've already got my mini chat code. My button code is created. You get that off your mini chat growth tool uh, in your setup settings, uh, in your setup windows where you just basically copy the code, dump that in. I'm going to add an additional little code module where I'm going to dump in all the code that I copied and then I'm going to update the page. Okay, now you can see that the page has been updated. So let's go and see what that looks like. So let's click this button and see if the Thrive modal pops up. And there you go. That's how you do it, guys. Um, so you can see the uh, bot uh, sent me the message and I've got this little opt-in here so that I can also put in my information and add, uh, add myself to an email list. And then it also triggered the Facebook pixel so I can track that as an actual lead. So there you go. That's how you uh, set up modal windows in Thrive uh, with ManyChat. All right. Thanks very much.